like n. So outer will compile and it'd say, oh, I'm going to take const string reference and const int reference, then I try to call inner. And I try to pass these const references to inner, which wants to modify them. Ooh, const correctness violation. No, 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 this will not compile. You can't drop constness because the compiler says, oh, no, you could be trying to modify this. So that's bad. So we can't say const date reference. What if we try to get rid of that? Like this. Okay. So now we can do, we can call things like outer of stir and n. Here, template argument deduction will kick in and say, outer is going to take string reference, and yeah, this is a non-const string, it's perfectly good, and it's going to take int reference, yep, this is an int, and just pass them to inner, which takes the exact same things, everything compiles. So that's great. Then I try to call outer, well, now imagine that I have a different inner function that looks like this. Sort of the reverse, string, reference, constant reference, or just int, by value. Okay. And now I try to call outer with foo and 1729. So if I were calling inner directly, this would work just fine. I would create a temporary string and bind it here, and of course I can pass 1729 as an int. But what if I try to call outer and have it forward these arguments to inner? Well, what's going to happen is, let's just ignore the string there because that's a whole other issue. Um, what happens when template argument deduction runs here? The compiler says, hmm, 1729 is an int. So I think b is int. I'm going to end up taking int reference. Uh-oh, I'm trying to bind a reference to a modifiable int. And I'm trying to bind that to just the number. 1729. This will fail to compile, or admit a warning, there's a horrible extension here that I'm not even going to mention, um, because hmm. you really shouldn't be allowed to modify just some integer, and in this case a temporary, that's going to evaporate as soon as the function call is over. So no matter which way you try to write uh, outer, whether you know const a ref or a ref, you can't get it right hmm. with a single declaration. Now it's there is actually a way in C++ 98 to get this right, and that is by overloading. So if you write one overload of outer that looks like this, and then another one that takes const a ref and b ref, and another one that takes a ref and const b ref, and another one that takes const a ref and const b ref. Maybe you write these out by hand, or copy and paste, or stamp them out with preprocessor macros. Um, this will actually work. Overload resolution will kick in, and we'll select the right one, and that will forward to inner as if you had called inner directly. Now there's a problem with this, and the word for this is exponential. We have two arguments, and yet we end up with four overloads. If we had three arguments, we'd end up with eight overloads, and that quickly becomes unsustainable. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so in C++ OX, with the magic of R value references, um, I'm not going to try to describe the rules that power this, because for that you really need to read my blog post, uh, which explains everything. Uh, just sit down with an, uh, for an hour and read it. Um, but the, <laughs> yeah, it, the rules are powering it are complicated. Okay. Um, however, once you sort of understand what they're, what's going on there, using them is very simple. If you want to write a forwarding function, that takes arguments, I don't care what types they are, and passes them to some other function. Um, then you do it like this, you say template type name A, type name B. I'm running out of space again. You see you're merging over to the right, maybe we should, yeah. <laughs> and then I have some return type, and then here's my outer function. I want to take arbitrary A. And the way we write this in C OX is A ref ref named A. And then arbitrary B. B ref ref B. And then I want to call my inner function. But I can't say just A and B. I have to say forward. And this is a helper that lives in namespace standard from the header utility. 
I want to forward an argument A, and then I want to forward an argument B. This is just sort of boilerplate. Once you write it once, it becomes very simple to write. And then this single template will work with any arguments, and they'll be passed to inner, and this will either compile or not exactly the same as if you were calling inner directly with these mm -hmm. things. So that's perfect for it. And so you might ask, okay, well, that's awesome, um, except I, why would I ever want to write some outer function that's just called inner? And my favorite example of this is MakeShared. And this is a standard library feature that is being added um, to VC10, Visual C++ 2010. And so the problem um, is sort of threefold. Um, in uh, VC9 SP1, or I guess they call it VS2 on 8, yeah. Um, if you want to construct a shared pointer, uh, and I remember talking about this the uh, last time Absolutely. you were here. Absolutely. Um, say I want to construct a shared pointer to a string. Okay. And I'm going to call it SP, and I need to construct some string, so new string. And I want to construct it from some C string, call it meow. Okay. So this is how I construct, and I, so I end up with SP, and so here's the implementation of how this looks like. SP contains a pointer to the string object. This is the standard string. I won't show its details here, but sometimes it contains a string within itself, sometimes it has a pointer to a buffer elsewhere is just an object um, right now for all we care about. And it also allocates a ref count. This thing has another pointer to the object. This is used when the object is being destroyed. Um, and then it has a strong ref count, the number of uh, shared pointers pointing to it, and a weak ref count. This is used for weak pointer, which can be used to break cycles. It's a feature of uh, shared pointer. Um, and so what happens is that this new performs this allocation, and then when we construct the shared pointer, it allocates its own separate reference count. This, uh, this is because shared pointer is non-intrusive. The reference count um, that it holds is separate from the object that it's owning. And this is great because it allows you to own things like string and int that don't have their own reference counts. This is separate from um, intrusive reference counting, which you've seen on li things like com, where the object itself contains an M ref count and has add ref and release methods. Uh, shared pointer is very lightweight and doesn't require that, but it does allocate this separate uh, ref count control block. Now that's great and it's very useful. Um, however, doing those two dynamic memory allocations can be a performance concern. So in C++ OX, there's a way to both construct the object and its reference count simultaneously. And that looks like in VS10, cool. VS2010. You say auto, I'm using a, another one of the language features here. Uh, I can't write O's. Uh, SP equals make shared of string. So, advantage number one is convenience. Here, I had to mention the type name twice. Once for the type of the shared pointer, and once when I actually newed up uh, uh, an object of that type. Now, string is actually a very short type name, just six letters, but what if it's you know, some long type like map, int, string, blah, 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 mm -hmm. um, or your own you know, horrible type name? Uh, repeating that could be obnoxious. They could get out of sync, which could lead to compiler errors or worse. Here, I only mention it once, because I'm both constructing the object and the shared pointer to it. Auto here just says, make the type of SP whatever make shared T uh, returns. And here it's going to return a shared pointer to string, so the type is automatically deduced. So essentially that's equivalent to some degree to the var keyword. Yeah, exactly. In yeah. the C sharp. Except, yeah. yeah. except that this is a fixed type. It's mm. not a variant. So ah. SP is exactly as if I had declared it by hand as a shared pointer Got to it. string. It's 